Thanks, Melinda. So I have this bottle of wine from Conte Toro called Don Mejor. It's a Cabernet Sauvignon 2014 vintage. Stay tuned for this review. So I have reviewed the 2009 to the 2012 vintages and right now the 2014 is ahead and for me this is just something I really look forward to and uh, let me show you the label and the back label. So this uh, front label shows that this is Puente Alto Vineyard which is also the DO known by the same name and 14.5% uh, ABV. And now here's the back label and so this is a 92% uh, Cabernet Sauvignon and uh, this is also uh, partnered with 8% Cabernet Franc. And uh, so when you look at this wine, you're gonna realize that this wine is, uh, first of all, it's a flagship wine of Contre Toro. So when you look at the vineyard site, you have uh, Contre Toro, which is about two thirds of the site and one third is remaining for Alma Viva. So this is splendid, beautiful fruit. So this vineyard site is 2,145 feet above sea level, which is about 650 meters above sea level. And this is 100% French oak, 50% of it's new, 50% is second use. I uh, totally love that. And for me, the reason I love it so much is I definitely like that uplift from some new oak. Uh, also, I think it's really nice to have a partnering of that second use so that it balances out, that it's not gonna be that 100% uh, French oak. And I taste a lot of 100% French oak, uh, new French oak, uh, Cabernet Sauvignon. And for me, uh, the Harmony best comes out when you have a mix of it. And so, I, you know, tasting over the years, you've tasted different uh, combination of Cabernet Sauvignon with its uh, uh, partners. And so 8% Cabernet Franc was really the lead partner this year. It does change slightly, but it's all Bordeaux varieties. And for me, I appreciate that because uh, when I look at the Bordelais, they looked at uh, the Cabernet Sauvignon as that uh, beautiful variety and it depends where you are of the same Bordeaux, how that is going to be blended with the Bordeaux partners. And uh, so here we go first. First of all, the point score, 95 points out of 100 points. And I think this is, um, a gorgeous uplift of showing, you know, Chile's, uh, some of the finest fruit in Chile, and also just that great climate. So it's that tension point of high elevation, uh, very cool nights, and uh, warm daytime temperatures as well to really create some amazing fruit characteristics and uh, amazing wines, obviously. So here we go first with the scent profile. So whatever you do, serve this wine in a Bordeaux glass, because I think it's gonna characterize handsomely, beautifully. So on this wine, a deep and luxuriant notes, and, and really when you smell this wine, you know it's a, a Bordeaux blend or a Cabernet Sauvignon dominant wine because it really has some amazing uh, herbaceous characteristics to this wine. So deep and luxuriant uh, notes of uh, blackberry cassis, a bit of leather notes, tarragon, rose petal, and uh, moist autumnal uh, forest. Nicely done. Next, the flavor profile. So blackberry, boysenberry, uh, finely crushed herbs, dried herbs, pepper, violets, and a bit of uh, thyme and bay leaf. And uh, so for me, when I think of Cabernet Sauvignon, when I was first tasting Cabernet Sauvignons, I often thought they're gonna be a, a heavier profile, say as a Syrah, but these wines are different. And I, I think that's the beauty of the Bordeaux and the Bordeaux blends and the Bordeaux uh, varieties in general, is they give that really nice, uh, it's not gonna be so dense and so inky, but enough to be really satisfying. Uh, completely uh, acid forward to really uh, meld together with uh, proteins. Uh, that is the steaks, the cheeses, and so forth. Handsome, gorgeous wine, 95 points out of 100 points. And I'll post uh, previous reviews right up here. More information on the producer will be listed down below. So every year truly is amazing because I end up tasting some of the best wines on my tasting table. I tend not to video wines that I don't find very compelling and or really maybe they failed in, uh, in terms of the bottling or the cork failure or something like that. And so in many ways I will balance out those, but I definitely try to bring the best to the wine tasting table as well as a variation of region, variety, and stylization. So, so I'm on uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, WordPress, and LinkedIn. Thank you again for watching today. Give a like down below, of course, and uh, subscribe buttons right up here. So thank you again for watching. Stay tuned for more. Salud.